1973 constitution is talking about the development of a national language. It did not say anything about Tagalog. That one is repeated in the 1987 constitution and it's talking about Filipino. Right? Very clear. That there shall be the national language which is called Filipino. Where is the deception coming from? People are saying that there is already a Filipino. Where is that? Linguists and scholars and researchers talked about two methods by which we can say there is another language. Only two. We have to be going around the bush. One is the issue of comprehensibility. Language one, is it comprehensible to language two? Do they talk to each other? Can they understand each other? If yes, there is no language. The other one is a dialect. Now let's test. Number two, the syntax is different. What's the syntax? It's the arrangement of the concepts or the words in a sentence, in an expression. Now let's use these measures to test whether we really have Filipino as a, as a language. Is a Tagalog speaker able to, to speak to the Filipino speaker and can understand each other? Yes. Now, do we have a changed syntax when we compare the Tagalog sentence and the Filipino sentence? No. In two counts, we are lying to our people. There's no Filipino language. There's a Filipino dialect of the Tagalog language. See the lines? Now, we are made to believe, meaning to say, there's a Tagalog. If the Constitution of 1987, which in fact is the Constitution of Gori, is, is good enough as our standard, our response is, okay, show us for the Filipino languages. Because what we have is a Filipino dialect. So you're lying. So in two constitutional counts, you're wrong. And we are lying to our students. We are never truthful to our students. We never were truthful. We become agents of this deception, this lie. So my worry is that. I mean, I've been a teacher all my life. I started teaching when I was two years old. Of course, I was teaching our dog, OK? All right. So I said, I'm not comfortable away anymore continuing and becoming agent of this lie to our people. Now, what happens is that when we are trying to form now an emancipatory knowledge for all our people, we call that Filipino knowledge. 